Another three lessons from my pop stat quest. Hello, I'm Josh Starmer and welcome to StatQuest. Today we're going to talk about another three lessons for my pop, and they're going to be clearly explained. Start small, then scale, then deploy with Lightning. This StatQuest is also brought to you by the letters A, B, and C. A always, B, B, C, curious. Always be curious. If you don't already know, September 4th is Global Frank Starmer Day. And to celebrate, we're going to talk about three lessons my pop taught my older sister Rachel and my older brothers Mike and Jack. Number one, to solve problems, draw a picture. Dad was the go-to person for word problems, and you'd think I'd be really good at that kind of thing because, you know, I like to read. But um, anyway, you know, the trains are going in different directions and we need to know when they meet. And I'd go to dad and say, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. And he'd say, have you drawn a picture? And I'd say, no. And he'd go, go draw a picture and come back. We'll talk about it. So I'd go and I'd draw a picture and then take it back to him and we'd look at it. And he'd tell me about, we'd talk about whether it kind of fit the story that was in the word problem, you know, was it actually depicting what was in the world pro word problem or not and how to fix it. And by the time we were done talking about the picture and modifying the picture, then I knew how to solve it. And so then I would go off and solve it. And that method of thinking about things has proven to be just the sort of the, my go-to method now for just about everything. Can I draw a picture? And if I can't draw a picture, it means I don't have enough information. Um, I'm not able to really see what it is, the thing that I need to see, and I need to go find out more. So I use that all the time. I use it when I do my counseling work. I use it with my own self in life um, and with all sorts of things. And so I am so glad that dad taught me how to solve word problems by drawing a picture. Thanks. Bam. Number two, to remember, draw a picture. Uh, I had a really difficult time learning. And the issue that I had is I just forget stuff. So I think today they call it like ADD, but my dad, dad would say, Hey Mike, uh, can you go get me a glass of iced tea? And I'd say, sure. And I'd walk in the house and just forget what I was supposed to do. Um, and then he picked up on this and teachers started telling him that I had bigger issues. And so he said, Mike, I'm going to teach you how to think in pictures. And so what he did is he, he said, Mike, can you get me a glass of iced tea? And I said, sure, I can, I can do that. Well, draw in a picture. Tell me the picture. So I said, all right. And he says, tell me the picture. And I said, well, I'm walking in the side of the glass door. I open the side of the glass door. I go into the counter, the kitchen. I get a glass. I get some ice and iced tea. I pour it in. I come back and I give it to you. And he said, okay, go do it. And I did. And that went on for, you know, a few months minimum. But he'd always talk about, Mike, what's the picture you see in your head? What do you, what do you, when I said this, what do you see? And so that's the now. So now all of a sudden, tr you know, fast forward, you know, 40, 50 years. And what do I have is my head only thinks in pictures. Visually, that's all I see. So when I'm speaking to you or I'm talking to people in a business meeting, I'm thinking about the story that they're telling me. I'm visually talking. So when I'm talking to somebody, they're not just words in my head. They're just actually a real story. And I'll tell you this. I am who I am today because Pop taught me how to think in pictures. Double bam. Number three, to solve a problem, start. I remember helping dad fix things around the house. I learned one of the best strategies for fixing things is to understand how they work and then methodically troubleshoot based on this knowledge and the symptoms. But sometimes we didn't know how something worked or where the problem was. So we picked a course of action and began taking things apart. Like the time we fixed the dishwasher. It was a lovely shade of olive green, this dishwasher. I was chasing my sister around the house and she accidentally sat on the dishwasher door and bent it. Oh no, 
I got in big trouble and was panicked to try and fix it. Dad and I didn't know how. We just knew it needed to be fixed. So I watched as Dad started taking it apart. We studied the door mechanism and found some parts we could straighten out, and we fixed the door. I took this strategy to heart and started taking most anything apart around the house to see how things would work, even things that didn't need fixing. My mom told me she freaked out one time when she walked into the living room and found me in the middle of a pile of vacuum cleaner pieces. Understanding how things work is immensely helpful in problem solving, but there is a more fundamental rule I learned from Dad. Years later, I was sharing a story with him about a team I was asked to join at work to solve a complex problem. They had been working on the problem for a few weeks, but hadn't made any progress. I told them, we have to pick something and dig in. My dad says, the first rule of problem solving is start. Triple bam. Now, last but not least, happy birthday, Pop. Now it's time for some shameless self-promotion. If you want to review statistics and machine learning offline, check out the StatQuest PDF study guides and my book, The StatQuest Illustrated Guide to Machine Learning, at statquest.org. There's something for everyone. Hooray! We've made it to the end of another exciting StatQuest. If you like this StatQuest and want to see more, please subscribe. And if you want to support StatQuest, Consider contributing to my Patreon campaign, becoming a channel member, buying one or two of my original songs, or a t-shirt, or a hoodie, or just donate. The links are in the description below. Alright, until next time, quest on!